Good morning and welcome to today's Reflections. My name is James Setter and this morning we'll be reflecting on the theme, Jesus our Emmanuel. Our scripture reading is taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 20 to 23. It reads, But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The prophet in this passage refers to Isaiah. God gave Isaiah similar prophecy hundreds of years before the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph. Isaiah also prophesied that Jesus would be called Emmanuel, meaning God with us. The name Emmanuel describes the miracle of the incarnation, God becoming flesh and dwelling amongst us meaning Jesus is God with us. All this came to pass to demonstrate God's desire and willingness to reveal himself and build a personal relationship with mankind. Never before has God clearly been present with his people like he did through the birth of Jesus, the promised Messiah. We know through various accounts in the Old Testament that God was always with his people through different means at different times, such as a pillar of cloud by day and fire by night. He has spoken through different prophets and also when his glory filled the tabernacle, but never like this. Upon reflection, I find this fascinating, that God literally tabernacle amongst us. God lived on earth like one of us, he showed us his glory. He offered his grace and truth. Through the miracles, signs and wonders performed by Jesus. Showing us the will of the Father. Jesus did exactly what the Father would do. And spoke exactly the words of the Father. God made himself known to us through Jesus. As God with us in all his fullness. Through Jesus, God reveals himself as our Redeemer, Deliverer and Saviour. Therefore, we who were once far away from God through sin are now reconciled with God. We've been brought closer. What an amazing truth. Because of Jesus, God no longer counts our sins against us. We are set apart. We are free forever. Another important truth is when we accept Jesus into our hearts and become born again, God comes to live in us through Christ Jesus. He walks with us daily through all our trials and tribulations and the good and happy times too. He is God with us. We can fully trust in him because he is eternally faithful. He never changes he never will change. In fact, he says, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Matthew 28 verse 20. To make sure we are never alone, when it was time for Jesus to return to the Father, he asked the Father to send the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Godhead, to be with us so that we are never alone and never feel alone. The Holy Spirit continues to bring the presence of God to dwell in our lives as believers. He continues the role of Jesus as our teacher, revealer of truth, encourager, comforter, intercessor, God with us, Jesus, our Emmanuel. Shall we pray? Lord Jesus, I thank you for this amazing truth that you are our Emmanuel, 
God with us. I thank you for revealing the Father's grace and love to us and that through you, we can rest in this everlasting promise that you are God with us. You are with us. You are for us. You are our comforter, our healer, redeemer and friend. At this time of the year when many are going through lots of difficulties due to the many demands of Christmas, I pray, Lord, for your peace and your presence over all. I pray that we will always remember you as being with us. Help us, Lord, to walk with you, walk in your love, generosity and peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.